everyone, welcome or welcome back to JJB10. This week's theme was Retro Fashion Week, and the contestants did an incredible job. Alright, so for passes this week, McKenna took her pass, but other than that, everyone else submitted their photos, and so that means that we are going to have an elimination this week. And other than that, there's nothing else, so let's go. This photo comes from Emma, but... Nikki is filling in for her this week. I love all the clothing from Julie's collection, and those flowers look absolutely gorgeous next to her. The 70s were all about the neutral colors or purples, which I can definitely see a lot of in this photo. I love the big floppy hat too. My critique would be that maybe you could take the photo a little bit closer or up at a little bit more up because I just think that maybe if her eyes were looking straighter at the camera it might have helped your photo instead of getting the whole look of the outfit although that is really cool how you did that and i love your photo so much this week so great job i also love how it looks like she's on a runway this photo comes from paris and she did vogue november 1943 and it says come together and stop the war I love the outfit and you put a lot of work in the editing of this photo. I just think that the text is really hard to read. So maybe if you added like um, a bigger text font or something like darker just to make it easier to read. But overall, great job. This photo comes from Blair, and she did the 1940s. She's playing hopscotch. I love this photo. The colors just work so perfectly together. I love how the sky is so blue, and then the grass is super green, and then her dress is absolutely stunning. And her hair, like, it's perfect. I love that hairstyle. It's so cute. And I love how she's playing hopscotch, because that is something that they would play a lot back then, like you said. And... I don't know. I have no critiques this week. Great job. I can definitely tell you're improving so much on your photography and just great job this week. This photo comes from Caroline Estelle. She also did the 1940s and she's recreating Molly's um, book cover, her original one. I think this is so cute. The outfit looks amazing on her. The photo just is a little blurry. I don't know if that's on my end or not, but great job this week. And yeah next up is rose and when i saw this in my email i was so so excited to see this photo i was just whoa speechless i mean this is incredible i think this is definitely one of your best photos and all the colors are working so perfectly together the outfit is so 70s and i love the pattern on it with all the flowers Overall, you did an amazing job this week. I have no critiques. I, I'm speechless. Next up is Issa, and she's creating, like, a fashion page of all sorts of fashions. I think these are, like, through the decades, but I just wish you could have added some text so I could know which decade is which, or if you were just focusing on one decade, maybe I could know, like, which one it was, because I'm not completely sure. But overall, your photo is super cute, and you did an amazing job with the editing. Overall, this week, you did an amazing job. This photo comes from Tanny, and she did the 1970s as well. I love all the little decorations in the room, and I love all the, like, coral theme and everything. You did an amazing job with color coordination. Everyone did this week, actually. And I love the pose. Her hair is super curly. I think it fits well with the theme. Great job. This photo comes from Talita, and I love her little poodle skirt. The little records on the wall remind me of something very retro, so it definitely does fit the theme. I just think that maybe you could have took this photo um, somewhere else other than behind a door. Maybe if you have some poster board or blank pieces of paper or maybe a set or green screen. It just looks a little plain, or maybe she was holding something. It's just a little bit plain for just like standing there next to the records if you know what i mean but overall great job this photo comes from nanea alani and she recreated the photo on the right of this model from the 1950s i love this photo so much and almost all of the pieces are exact 
from the photo on the right, which is absolutely amazing. This photo is super cute and very beautiful. I just think that maybe instead of taking the photo down, you could take it a bit more like up because that's how the model is and maybe um, back away a bit because that is like the model is like standing farther away. But overall, great job. Which does sadly mean that Toledo is eliminated. Your photos have been amazing all throughout this cycle and I really hope you continue photography. Thank you so much for entering this cycle. Next week's theme is Earth Day week because Earth Day is actually April 22nd which is actually coming up really close and so for this photo I want you to take a photo outdoors or showing your doll cleaning up the community or something like that. Just something showing your doll and something related to Earth Day, helping out the Earth, or taking a photo in nature. I mean, it could be anything. So yeah, photos are due April 26th. Make sure to submit them on time. Thank you so much. Bye!